Welcome back to my channel, Melanie Gemini Mystic Tarot. So, you know, I've been out and about. I had stuff I had to do. I had to get orders out. You know, I had to take some me time. I just had to do a lot of stuff. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? My kids is gone. I had to do, a, you know what I'm saying? I had to go to the spiritual shop. I had to, you know what I'm saying? Get my energy right or whatever. And then I was waiting on some cars to come. So I'm trying to get like in between three select, you know what I'm saying, different type of cars done. So I'm going to get six cars out of here to see what it's talking about. Then we're going to clarify with my cars. And then we're going to use these cars, y'all, period. You know what I'm saying? I just got on the Modern Witch Tarot deck by um Lisa Sterling or Sherlock, whatever. Y'all, I don't know what's going on, but it's something saying, bitch, read these cars. Okay, bitch. I will. I got to drop and shit, y'all. Trying to be cute and shit. But let me put this, you know what I'm saying, right here. So, thank you guys. Spirit guys, and angels already, you know what I'm saying, purify these decks. I already cut them up. So, y'all let me know what's going on. God, spirit, God, arch, angels, and ancestors. Give me six cards for my collective. That's one. Somebody is nervous about something. Thank you guys, spirit, God, and arch, angels. What are you nervous about? Envy. Somebody nervous and it has something to do with envy, nervousness, envy. If you nervous right now, girl, you don't know how many people motherfucking envy you, bitch. You don't know how many people that's, that's like thinking that you doing bad, want you bad down, bitch. And I mean that right now, like motherfuckers wishing on your downfall, Gemini. They wishing for you to be fucked up and do fucked up, but they just don't know God got you like this. Cause he know like with some people I'm talking to, you been having to do this shit on your own. And or as a child, like nothing ain't never came motherfucking easy. And it's like, when it come down to nervousness, I know it's nervousness, you finna do something new. And I know like you get that energy of, okay, what happened if it don't work out? What happened, nah, nah, nah. Don't even worry about it, girl. If you only knew how many people want to be like you, how many people envy you because they want to be like you, girl, you'll be starting to pop your shit even harder, bitch. Dude, that's what I'm going to do. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, let me get... Okay. Fa y'all, family, y'all. Family. It has something to do with family. It has something to do with a third party situation. It has something to do with a party or a get together you got to got i mean you went to and your family was there and they saw you popping your shit and one even popping your shit that was just, just you thank you guys spirit god and arch angels somebody also is nervous about something coming out at a party and they got they self caught up in a third party situation somebody needs to take a spiritual bath because you know what i'm saying that may be you may be in a lot of you may be you may have been they didn't want me to talk. You may have been around people where you've heard envy and you've heard, you know what I'm saying, or you've been around people at this big gathering or at this party, and it was a lot of envious people there. And some people may be nervous that they may have did some spell work, may have did something or did so much envy towards you, and people done, they done talked to, probably done came to you and said, well, such and such and so and said this and this and this about you. And then they nervous and they think at some point in time you're going to find out, but they just knew that time was coming some type of way, but they just didn't want it to happen at the time and time is finna happen. But take y'all a spiritual bath. Get that little fucked up energy off y'all. Um, Like I say, third party situation, something happened at a party, something to do with family. It's some envy and some nervousness going on. So let's get into my other cards, my tarot deck I did make. Thank you guys, Spirit, God, and North Angels for the messages for my collectives. Let's see what's coming out. Who is this about? This one flip. This has something to do. Okay, a tower moment. This tower moment is because of all that's going on up here. It's nervousness. It's envy. It's the family. It's third party. It's something that happened at a party or when y'all got together. It's just something that they saw that they wanted and that they didn't have the energy, the, the you know what I'm saying, the light. Being the chosen one, they didn't obtain that, and you did, and you do that without even trying. So it says cause and effect. That's what the tower moment is. Um, destruction, a release of people. Um, some people feeling lost because you cut their water off. Um, sudden change, upheaval, adversary, downfall. I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all hear that in the background. I live across the street from a bar, a biker's bar. 
release, disaster, losses, difficulties, obstacles, imprisonment, training, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like all of that is the meaning of it's of the tower. But when I, what I get from that is there's going to be an upheaval. It's a lot of people thinking that she was going to do fucked up, thought she was going to do bad, but they're getting a tower moment. Like this retrograde right here, y'all, this retrograde right here is for every, it's, it's karma retrograde. Meaning if you've been doing your shit, popping your shit, doing your shit for the greater good and you and another person not being selfish, not always thinking about you, but then it get, you know what I'm saying? You learning your lessons and you being able to pass that retrograde so it can pass you. You know what I'm saying? In the tower moments for those who thought who they was going to play, thought they was going to come into your energy and razzle dazzle, you know what I'm saying? Alla, what, what that is on motherfucking Cinderella? Alla kazoo, ka, some bippity boppity boo. Bitch thought they going to do some kitchen magic bippity boppity boo hoos on your ass and that shit backfired. Now they having a karma moment, tower moment. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got this, this magical like force field around you and like some terrorists that may look at this you have a natural force field around you and sometimes you may see it if you get into an orbit vision and it's like you just see like something that's doing this because you're so protected and you done learned your lessons and can't shit touch the fuck out of you at all it only can tickle you bitch <laughs> thank you guys spirit god and archangels wait Ooh, wait a minute now this card want to come out this blue one. The Ten of Swords had something to do with the um with us. Somebody was doing this to us. Um, trying to backstab us. Negatives or you know what I'm saying? People was negatively talking about us. Um, some people may be having negative um self talk. Um, some people may be having arguments. Some people want to start the fuck back over y'all. Look, we don't do do overs over here. We don't do no do overs because when you do do overs, they start doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Like over and over and ain't nobody got time for that shit. Real talk. And this does have something to do with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And this is a Ten of Swords, but it's coming to a full completion. It's a full completion. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what 16 and how 10 is of significance. Or it can be October 16th or um, January 6th, 2010. I don't know where that can resonate. But y'all, whoever this is, please don't be feeling lost. You know, if you have what, it, if you just got what it takes, if, if you just got blessed for what you asked for so that you can move forward and do what you need to do, do it. Because if you don't, your guy's going to be looking at you like, dang, you asked for this and you asked for that. And you said all you needed was this and this and this. And then you're going to be pushing that shit. Like, now it's time. Like, I know that mom, oh, moments notice, but if you knew it moments notice it was going to come, you probably never be ready or you probably be ready like a, a day before. Or, you know what I'm saying? That's why it pays to be ready sometimes. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archer Angels for the messages from my collectives. And this is the world. Okay. This has something to do with completion, success, perfection, achievements. And um, it's a, you know, like I say, talking about the Ten of Swords, it's a full completion. It's a success. It's perfection. It's you going through tower moments and you learning your lessons so you can get, you know what I'm saying, to the next step. You know what I'm saying? Like getting to where you need and want to be at and fulfillment. You know what I'm saying? Being the center of attention, like, you ask God for whatever you asked him for. So there needed to be a tower moment for you to rebuild again. And being that you rebuilding again and whatever did not happen to you, maybe in December, then you probably would not even have been even this far. So now it's like now, you know what I'm saying? No hesitation. Do not hesitate. If you said that you was going to start that business or you was going to start putting this stuff online or you was going to, you know what I'm saying, do something different. Or I know Texas coming up and you're going to do something different. And you ain't just going to swander all the way. Some of y'all probably go on vacations and shit. But, you know what I'm saying, make that vacation worth your while. Put your business into that vacation and spend money at the same time. If you're going to do that and then get your money back from what you done did down there. Like, make it business and personal. Like, because, I mean, who wants to go out of town and spend all that money and come back broke? You know what I'm saying? Let's do it different this year. You know what I'm saying? Let's not buy a house, another house, after you bought another house last year, unless you finna go sell it and, you know what I'm saying, get your money back and then some. Like, don't do the same. Or buy another car like you did last year. Like, try to, you know what I'm saying, 
put if you think about how many cars you don't bought and so i'm telling me someone really just buys a car like every year every two years and imagine how many cars of money and what you could have did as far as opening the business because i really looked at that and when i look at that i'm like you know what i'm saying you're right i'm gonna put that back my money that i'm gonna get when i do my business you know what i'm saying taxes is going back into the business and then the stuff that i was wanting that's going to help me and i already know i'm getting the money back from what i'm doing i'm gonna do it real talk Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archie Angel for the messages from my collective. The Five of Swords. Um, nervous of getting um of of an outcome, unpleasant um, experience. So what I can say is, like you probably done, you know, same time coming down uh, coming down the line again. It's probably a relationship or it has something to do with the business, and it's like you're nervous of an outcome, and you're nervous how it's gonna turn out. And I won't tell you right now. It's going to turn out just fine, Gemini's. Just don't be in your head about it. And I'm telling you right now, I would have been started my channel if I would have just stayed the fuck about my head and stop, you know what I'm saying, worrying about what people say. Stop worrying about what my family say and how they didn't agree with what I was doing. And I don't give a fuck, really, because when I eat, they don't shit whatever I ate. When I get fucked up out here, it shows I'm going to be out here by my motherfucking self and I'm going to have to answer to God when I go to the other side. And I'm going to be judged by me being who I am and the decisions I made. And I know the decisions I made. I'm not no perfect person, but I know I stay the fuck out of the way. I don't fuck people over. I don't steal from people. I don't lie to people. I don't swindle people out of their money. I, I like to work for mine. Because I know if I work for mine, a motherfucker can't take a fuck thing from me anyway. Back to it. And it has something to do with Gemma Libra or an Aquarius. Um, winning that comes at a cost. However, you have to look at what you, you know what I'm saying? What are you doing this for? Don't bet all your money on it. If you do not know if this is going, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to put all your energy into it, all your consistency into it. You know what I'm saying? I know you know you have to stay up sometimes to get stuff done. Have the patience to deal with people. And it says, what are you leaving out? Double check. And I have one more card. I'm going to get out of here. And then we're going to get to the tarot, y'all. We finna get to the modern witches tarot deck. I haven't um, read any cards, so there's a net fresh energy, fresh everything. One more card. Thank you, God's spirit, God, and our angels. So somebody is nervous about, you know what I'm saying, doing something or starting something because of the envy of other people. All I can say is don't say nothing to nobody until you put in the packaging stickers on it. They can't stop nothing in. They can't stop the advertisement from coming out. They not and can't stop you from going to wherever you finna go and get, you know what I'm saying, your business and your stuff going. They can't stop none of that shit. Like, real talk. Let's touch a million this year, y'all. Let's touch a million. Let me get one more card. Thank you, guys, for your God and our angels. Thank you, guys, for your God and our angels and the ancestors for the last message. Okay. Page of Wands. This has something to do with a younger energy or somebody in the midst of your energy. A fire sign that's, you know what I'm saying, envious or, you know what I'm saying, I'm thinking it's, you know, it's more than just that. I feel that it is um the cards that I got out here, which is the source. It, it may be a fellow air sign. It may be a fellow Gemini, fellow Libra, a fellow Aquarius, Aquarius in your family and or third party situation or someone that wants to be in a relationship with you they see that you have the world they see that you have all this good energy coming but then yet they are in torment because they can't be a part of it and you know what i'm saying they're like a time bomb like a defective time bomb like their anger can erupt at any time page of wands you know what i'm saying fire sign aries sagittarius and leo like has a tension tam energetic friend and supporter but they can, you know what I'm saying? They just want the shit they way. Like, it has to be molded they way in order for them to even be involved. They're unpredictable. They're, they're, un they're unpredictable. Let's put it that way. They have a fear of looking ridiculous, okay? Let's just put it out there. They have a fear of looking ridiculous. So, if they have a fear of looking ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? This maybe has something. This has something to do with it. Uh, they didn't want to be a part of what you had going on, Gemini, because they didn't want to feel or look ridiculous when it didn't come out or it didn't look good or whatever the fuck but now it look good you getting views bitch you get a lot a lot a lot a lot likes motherfuckers can't handle it now they wanna you know what i'm saying just keep watching you and shit to see what the fuck you got going on so they can try to figure out you know what i'm saying how they can put their e's dot i's and q's in your shit no bitch you can't 
That's not how that's finna go. Now let's get into the messages over here, y'all. I'm gonna put these, you know, right here. Let me put these how they were. This came last. This was the energy, ten of swords. I want them to be five of swords, the world. Okay. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and our angels. Thank you. I love these cards, y'all. Make me smile every time I get a new deck of cards. Give me the messages for my collective of Gemini. Thank you, God. Okay, nine of nine of swords. Somebody is staying up at night, sleepless nights. I don't know what somebody's upset about. Um, but if this has something to do with you worrying about what your family say, don't worry about that shit because that is what's keeping you stuck like that. Or somebody done broke your heart, or this motherfucking page of swords that comes, this Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, you know what I'm saying? To come in, angry motherfucker. Oh, let's look at this card. Nine of Swords. And you know what I'm saying? Now you, you know what I'm saying? A nervous outcome like you know what I'm saying walking away or knowing that you have to walk away from something or being resistant to walking away from something if you if you want if you want to stop this energy you have to walk away and I know it's gonna hurt and I've been there before but if you don't walk away then how you think you're gonna heal it's, it's gonna hurt but shoot you know what I'm saying you gotta find something else and then you have the um three of cups. You have the three of cups. Somebody is upset. Somebody is in their bed upset and crying because three motherfuckers is talking about them or they did some envious shit to them or something happened at a party or, you know what I'm saying? Something's telling me you need to take a spiritual bath to get all of this energy off you. These people could have been doing spiritual work on you and you don't even know it. You were out here just in the bed looking crazy and they done did a spiritual spell on you. No, bitch, get up, bitch. Get up. They're not going to win. Let's get let's let's get that energy popping. Let's get in that bathtub. And when you get in that bathtub and get that spiritual bath, everything they try to bring towards you is going to circle back to them a hundredfold. And this could be a female, you know what I'm saying, that, that favorite color green. She like that mermaid shit. And there's one girl that's kind of sporty. But, you know what I'm saying, it's still feminine. Like, you got one girl, you know what I'm saying, I'm looking at, you know what I'm saying, like that see-through, you know what I'm saying, has colorful hair or whatever. And they both do. But one probably wear grayish, grayish, like blondish, brownish. Like, it's, it's gray, but it has these hues in it. And then the other girl probably has pink hair, but wears these bright color hair. And this other girl wears bright, uh, big earrings with probably bright colored shoes and a matching hat with, you know what I'm saying, like a dress and with an over jacket with some big ass earrings or something. Like these people around here, like you upset, you probably felt left out because these motherfuckers didn't, you know what I'm saying, want to include you. But then when it's time to motherfucking get some shit, then they motherfucking ass around here ready to call you see if you can come because you got the finances and then it says have strength in this situation because baby when i say this is the karma retrograde hold on another car had these cars had flipped and then i get the six of cups giving to somebody be have strength because you're finna be giving something you're finna be giving something oh, okay the sun I got the sun and the chariot. You're getting something. You're going to be leaving. You're going to be either leaving or you're going to be orchestrating something. Um, the sun, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have everything you wanted. When you leave this situation, then that's when your blessings come. And I'm telling you that right now. The more you stay... The more you stay trapped and the more you stay, you know what I'm saying, like in this energy of, oh, I, I don't know what to do. And you're going to stay there. You got to get up. You got to say, fuck that shit. I know it may be hard, but you know what I'm saying? Make a plan to leave. Page of Swords. And Page of Swords already came out. Real talk. We, You know what I'm saying? Like, 
cut that shit short, bro. Benny, he want to act like a page of stories, get him the same motherfucking energy. You know what I'm saying? But don't be no time bomb. Just be like, you know what I'm saying? I'm done with that shit. I'm done with this situation. I'm done. And when a motherfucker realize that you done, they're going to try to come in and be that night and try to fight for you and shit. And your ass going to be like, hell no, nah, fuck you, him, and motherfucking them. And then the king of swords, you're going to be in this energy of, you know what I'm saying, you or the man or this male or whoever this may be. This is a female card, however. This could be someone that likes male and female this may be someone that has you know same-sex relationships but you know what i'm saying this person is going to have somebody else this person going to try to come in and ride in and try to you know what i'm saying and try to come for you when it ain't even finna work you gonna be in this defensive this is us right here and then here goes um this is us again you gonna find you're gonna find this right here the king of swords and here go the queen of swords this knight of swords is trying to come in this knight of swords is trying to come in and it's not gonna happen this knight of swords was trying to come in to stop and trying to see what's going on because he fucked you over now he was on some you know what i'm saying thinking with his dick and not his head or you know what I'm saying? Went to a party and you found out about some shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking in my head, like, you done found somebody else that so that nigga done. And now he trying to come back in to try to save something. And then it's over with already. Thank you, God. Spirit, God, and Arch Angels. Because guess what? Secrets done came out, like I said. Secrets done came out. And you thought that you was you you was safe and they wasn't. They thought that they was safe and really wasn't. And I feel like a cross washer is watching this. There's a tower moment. Somebody in their motherfucking feelings. Um, the hierophant. Something finna be left alone. Something maybe to do with jail time. I get the eight of wands. Somebody's leaving a situation. Um, somebody giving up. And leaving a situation because it serves them no purpose anymore. Queen of Cups. Probably has something to do with a water sign. Remember when I said something about a motherfucking mermaid and there's a mermaid sitting down here? But something to do about um someone is finna be giving something with this Queen of Cups energy. This is a water sign. They may be getting karma. And either or she has something to do with it because this eight of cups is pointing straight at this queen of, of cups. This, I mean, eight of eight of wands is touching or look, you know what I'm saying, pointing at the queen of cups, meaning that she may have, you know what I'm saying, threw in the tower, gave up on the situation, and or trying to give love to the man that's leaving the situation, or someone is trying to give love to someone that's um ending the situation or getting out of a situation. Or they found out they ain't in a relationship no more. They trying to come and give them money. Or somebody is finna get some money. Or some money is coming to you. Thank you guys, Spirit, God, and Arch Angels. Let me get another message for my collective. Four of Cups. Someone not being all the way happy. You've been giving your blessing. And now you're honestly probably not all the way happy. Because you're... Uh-uh, bring that strawberry back. And then, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you don't feel all the way happy, but you have what you need. And I feel like if you have what you need, please don't be like that. Because you're going to make God feel like he didn't do enough. And God has done well enough enough. You feel me? Well enough enough. Um, One more card. God, spirit, God, and Okay. Okay. The ten of y'all, the ten of swords. You have to come. You ha actually went through a. You went through a completion to get the ace of, of ace of pentacles. Didn't I tell you got about that? You're gonna have a partnership. Y'all gonna be having money together. Whatever it's gonna come, you are gonna have a partnership. They are gonna help you with that shit. And they are not gonna be like these trickster ass motherfuckers. They are gonna help you with this shit. Their money's gonna be going in it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be surprised because you just felt like, dang, even though I want this, they want this as much as I do. And y'all need to stay around folks that want shit just as much as you do. Now tell me how it's going on.